the Panspatial Phaedon Aerospace Craft. Copyright 2018 by Tom Alforo. The Phaedon concept aerospace craft is an intersection of some science and mostly fiction. It is designed to inform and inspire both. Phaedon Section 1. Crew Training. Initial in-flight crew training is conducted in dual cockpit configuration. Refresher training and advanced training occurs in single cockpit configuration. Conventional runway takeoff is made possible by hybrid jet and rocket engines. Rocket thrust sufficient to attain low Earth orbit is achieved via reactive propellants of virtually zero mass and volume, which apparently is in abundant supply for most science fiction vehicles. In this view, the wings are shown at 70 degrees sweep. Within the atmosphere, wings provide lift and controllability. Under rocket thrust, limited wing sweep prevents wing surfaces from overheating. Training missions are flown with one instructor and one student per cockpit module. Dual cockpit configuration facilitates more realistic training with an acceptable margin of safety, compared to a single cockpit configuration. In the event of an emergency, the crew escape module can detach from the main fuselage and return safely to Earth. For the purpose of familiarity, flight crews are trained to operate and maneuver the module in realistic conditions. At the conclusion of detached maneuvering, the module is recoupled to the main vessel before continuing the training event and returning to Earth. Phaedon aerobraking to descend from orbit. Lower surfaces of the aerospace craft are constructed of materials that are designed to withstand very high temperatures. During reentry into the atmosphere, wings are fully retracted to reduce exposure to extreme temperatures and forces. Small control thrusters provide controllability during re-entry. Wings at 40 degrees sweep for return flight to airfield. Training occurs throughout the entire flight. Crews in training practice different skills and responsibilities from takeoff to landing. Forward intakes are full open. Large diameter fans provide propulsion in forward flight. Conventional landing. Wings at full extension for maximum lift at lower takeoff and landing airspeeds. Upper speed brakes are extended to reduce airspeed and improve stability. Fade on Section 2. Launch and Achieving low Earth orbit. Phaedon crew prepares for vertical takeoff in full mission configuration, right side crew cockpit module and left side cargo module. Phaedon provides commercial launch and recovery of low Earth orbit satellites. Other primary customer missions include resource discovery, remote asset tracking, and communications. Many specialized missions require basing, launch, and recovery in remote locations. Vertical takeoff and landing is beneficial in remote locations where large or permanent airfields are not available. Immediately after vertical takeoff, Phaedon transitions rapidly to more efficient forward conventional flight. In vertical takeoff and landing mode, the wings are full forward, canards are extended, and the main thrust fans are in full vertical deflection. In forward conventional flight, the wings and canards are also fully extended. However the main thrust fans are in full vertical deflection to the rear. Once clear of the station, Phaedon proceeds to climb and accelerate rapidly away from landing station. Phaedon achieves escape velocity and orbit station through further system transition. For forward high-speed flight, the wings and canards are positioned at sweep 40 degrees. Thrust fans remain at full forward and are gradually assisted by rocket thrust. In the uppermost reaches of the atmosphere, the thrust fans are ineffective. Therefore thrust is provided strictly by the rocket engines. The forward intakes are closed. Wings and canards are fully retracted. Section 3 Phaedon on mission. On orbit, Phaedon can operate in horizontal mode. However it is preferable to transition to vertical spaceflight mode for better crew visibility and temperature management while in the near vacuum of space. Step 1. Cockpit and cargo modules are horizontal on the same plane. Step 2. Main fuselage rotates counterclockwise toward 90 degrees vertical. Step 3. The cockpit nose section rotates clockwise to maintain vertical mode. Step 4. The cargo nose section rotates 270 degrees clockwise to achieve inverted vertical mode. Step 5. 
in order to counteract the counterclockwise momentum of main fuselage, cockpit, and cargo fuselage sections rotate clockwise. Step 6. Final Vertical Flight Configuration Fade on on orbit, vertical spaceflight mode. In vertical spaceflight mode, cockpit and cargo fuselage sections can rotate 180 degrees to face each other, to facilitate visibility and control during satellite launch and recovery procedure. Fade on two ship flight on high trajectory to low Earth orbit. Missions with one manned and one drone airframe facilitates greater payload density in a single mission. It is especially beneficial for launching payloads which consist of multiple components that require on-orbit synchronization to accomplish a given mission. On this mission, Phaedon is launching a constellation of small communication satellites. Missions with differently configured airframes, one manned and one drone, are able to service and recover larger orbital assets in a single mission. Satellite recovery and four salvage missions are accomplished by a variety of different commercial operators. In this image, both aerospacecraft are operated from the manned cockpit of the first foreground ship. Fade on Section 4. Recovery and Landing. Step 1. Atmospheric Reentry. Plasma reaction battery is activated via a small dorsal inlet installed in the center body. It accumulates and stores energy for the powered landing phase of the flight. Step 2. High altitude air braking. Upper and lower air brakes extend to reduce airspeed sufficiently to extend wings. Step 3. Conventional flight to remote station. Step 4. Transition to VTOL mode makes landing at remote stations feasible. Section 5. Emergency procedures. If the main fuselage is compromised during any phase of flight, the crew escape module can detach from the main vessel and attempt a safe return to Earth. The escape module is provided with heat shielding and zero atmosphere reaction controls for controlled reentry. The Phaedon crew escape module also includes the following features as shown. Parachute protective housing. Aft control thrusters. Oxygen and data couplings, equipped for command release under normal in-flight operations or in emergencies. Main fuselage couplings and release mechanism. Individual crew ejection seats. Front control thrusters. Nose heat shield. Main heat shield. Forward extendable landing gear. Main fuselage attachment hardpoints. Aft extendable flight controls and or landing gear. The dimensions of the Phaedon crew escape module are as follows, length, 1.8 meters, width, 1.7 meters, height, 1.8 meters. At high altitude, the initial deceleration parachute deploys. The parachute, whilst command deployable at any time during the descent, is not designed to return the module to the surface. Instead, semi-rigid inflatable wings deploy to facilitate a controlled flight and landing. In this example, Phaedon crew prepares for a water landing. This is a successful emergency water landing. Canopies have been pre-jettisoned to facilitate rapid egress if necessary. The semi-rigid inflatable wings provide flotation until further egress or rescue. Alternatively, this Phaedon is executing a hard surface landing on an unprepared surface. For safe ground landing, the crew escape module also includes the following features. Control thrusters provide controllability in flight, but have very limited endurance. Extendable landing gear provides stability and aero braking in flight, as well as shock absorption on landing. Semi-rigid inflatable wings provide lift during glide and reduce likelihood of rollover during hard surface landing. Heat shield provides ablative, heat-resistant surface for rapid braking when in contact with the landing surface. Phaedon Section 6 Technical order. Top view, VTOL mode. Fade on front view, VTOL mode. Fade on left side view, VTOL mode. Dimensions, length, 25.1 meters. Fuselage width, 9.1 meters. Wingspan, 35.1 meters. Height in flight, 2.9 meters. Height on ground, 5.1 meters. Fade on bottom view, VTOL mode. Fade on aft view, VTOL mode. 
Fade on right side view, VTOL mode. Space flight, vertical mode, front and side views. Top view, VTOL mode, fan assembly's position 90 degrees vertical. In steps 1, 2 and 3. Fan assembly transitions from 90 degrees vertical to 45 degrees. The geometry of the assembly is such that separate doors are not necessary. The top and bottom surfaces of the entire assembly glide into the cylindrical cavities of the forward inlet and aft exhaust. In steps 4, 5 and 6, the fan assembly transitions the remainder of the arc from 40 degrees vertical to 0 o horizontal for forward thrust. Top and bottom surfaces of the entire assembly align flush next to the exterior main fuselage. Bottom view, VTOL mode, fan assembly's position 90 degrees vertical. In steps 1, 2 and 3. The fan assembly transitions from 90 degrees vertical to 45 degrees. The geometry of the assembly is such that separate doors are not necessary. The top and bottom surfaces of the entire assembly glide into the cylindrical cavities of the inlet and exhaust. In steps 4, 5 and 6, the fan assembly transitions the remainder of the arc from 45 degrees vertical to 0 degrees horizontal for forward thrust. Top and bottom surfaces of the entire assembly align flush next to the exterior main fuselage. Technical features of Phaedon seen from the front. On the left, atmospheric flight mode. On the right, space flight mode. Technical features of Phaedon seen from aft. On the left, atmospheric flight mode. On the right, space flight mode. Section 7. One more mission. In this image, a Phaedon dual ship mission launches from a shipborne platform. Vertical takeoff thrust is provided by two large electrically driven, two stage hubless fans. During the tall launch sequence, each fan assembly pivots independently from 90 degrees vertical to Z degrees forward. In this image, atmospheric re entry and aero braking slow the craft form orbital velocity. The plasma reaction battery is activated. Top speed brakes providing stability and control. Fade on drone operations, whilst discouraged, are permissible within specific airspace. Stakeholders are keen to monitor compliance. In this case, an armed airborne escort ensures a safe return to the platform of origin. Another successful mission. Both units, manned and drone, return safely to their platform of origin for a safe VTOL landing.